Guys, I'm going to tell you how to hopefully not get a speeding ticket when you get stopped for speeding. And this works. This is not a joke. I was the I, I was taught this in a, a concealed handgun class in Texas. I live in northern Wisconsin now. They don't have concealed handgun permits, so that's another story. But the information is great. Uh, the other evening, I was on my way to class. And uh, I drive through uh, an Indian reservation on the way. Well, there's a casino there. The speed limit is 55. When you get to there, it drops to 50. I'm paying no attention whatsoever. Got a test that night. My mind is not in my truck. I'm running 63 in a 50. And as I pass that casino, I'm coming out of town. I mean, free and clear. And whoop, I met him. God dang, you know, when you see those lights, you know how your butt puckers? Well, mine got about that big. Oh, crap. He hit the shoulder, and when he did, I just pulled over, put on my flashers, and here's what you do. Got my driver's license out, rolled my window down, had my license right here between my fingers, and my hands on the steering wheel, on the top of it. So when the officer walked up toward my truck, he knew he was safe. He could see my hands on the wheel, not down here where he can't tell what's in them. That's why when they walk up, they're always kind of uneasy, okay? He walked up with every intention of giving me a ticket because I've been told by the uh, students in the class that live there that if you get pulled over, you get a ticket. All right, I'm running 63 in a 50. Now, that's a ticket anywhere. He walked up. I had a big smile on my face. And I had my driver's license right there. And he said, well, obviously, you know why I stopped you, because you pulled over without even seeing my lights. And I said, yes, sir, I got no excuse. Big smile on my face. Handed him my license. He said, where do you live? And I said, well, right back yonder. And I told him where. He said, where would you live before that? And I said, Texas. And he said, all right, I know you wasn't from around here. And I said, we've been up here for nearly five years. And uh, I know you don't speed through here. I just wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. No excuse. And he said, well, you know, we dropped the speed limit right here because we have elderly people and sometimes kids walking on the side of the road. And I said, I totally understand. There wasn't anybody today. No excuse. He uh, asked for my insurance card. I couldn't find it. I found the last four years and could not find the current one. He said, well, keep looking. I'll go back and call this in. He come back and said, well, your license is cleared. You find that insurance card? <laughs> nope. <laughs> he said, well, you got all your other, so I'm sure you're insured, and I'm just going to give you a verbal warning and let you go. Slow it down. I said, thank you, sir. They don't let you go there, but he did because he was relaxed. He knew that he was safe. He knew I was a good guy, and I had that big old Texas smile on my face. Give it a shot when you get stopped. Don't have that window rolled up and your hands in your lap. And it can really help you out. Remember that. Simple.